Hello guys, it's Doombreaker here with a um, visual basic tutorial. This is going to be part one of the advanced autotyper. What the autotyper is going to be able to do is um, pick a color and an animation for RuneScape. You can make this for your own game or for whatever you want it. But I'm going to show it how to do it for RuneScape. Um, I made a form here with a label combo box, text box, button and timer. So the items in the combo box are yellow, red and green. I know there's cyan and pink and such but uh, I'm only going to use those three colors to save some time. Also the drop down style of um, this uh, combo box is a drop down list. The text box is multi line and has a max length of um, 245 uh, characters, which is optional, but you don't have to do it. So uh, let's go to coding right away. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, dim color as um, string yeah that's what we are going to do um, next thing we are going to do is we are going to um, say timer one dot start and before that we are going to put an if statement and so if combo box one dot text text is equal to um, yellow then we are going to leave it blank else if combo box oops combo box one dot text is red then and then else you can also if you are using multiple colors you need to type else if and else last because else is um, if it's not yellow and if it's not red it's going to do this which is pretty simple because we only have three items and if it's not yellow and it's not red it's going to be green so you could also type else if combo box dot text is green but to save some time you are going to do this you can also um, use a uh, case uh, system but I prefer the if statement so um, let's go to coding so if combo box one dot text is yellow then color is nothing if combo box one dot text is red then color is red colon and that's it else color is whoops green colon close brackets so um what this is going to do is it's going to make color um, nothing red colon or uh, green colon and you are going to see in a bit why I did that so uh, now to the timer double click the timer and um, say um, for example um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, send keys. Send keys dot send. Open brackets. Then type color. And um, text box one dot text. 
So what this is going to do, for example, if I type here, um, let's say bananas, and I want to type that in red. So in RuneScape, it would mean that you will type red colon bananas. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to uh, type whatever is color, which we decided here what it is. So if the combo box says it's red, it's going to be red colon and whatever is in text box one. So that's just pure logic. Um, also, what I forgot to do is um, we are going to add another label here and another text box, text box, <clears throat> text box, text box. Oh, my voice is so damaged. So um, let's make this interval in seconds. Um, you could also do this in milliseconds, then you need to skip some code that I'm going to do, but to make it more user friendly, I'm going to do it in seconds. So go back to your button click and say timer one dot interval is um, interval. It's going to give you an error. And that's because we haven't um, declared interval. So that's what we're going to do. Dim interval as uh, integer. And then we need to do some math. So I'm going to do this in a try catch statement because uh, in this text box, you will need to um, fill in the seconds. So one, two, three, four, nine thousand and one. Um, but if it says A, it's going to give an error and it's going to crash the program. So we need to uh, catch that error and um, type message box. Um, Oh damn, I forgot how to do this. Um, mess. I haven't coded in a while. Message box dot show. Then X, I think. Something like no. Um, you know, let's say that if, if something goes wrong, you just say um, error. Let's do that. So what we are going to do is we are going to try. Um, so let's let's get this clear. Um, one second is thousand milliseconds. The interval is in milliseconds. So what we need to do is we need to um, get a text box one dot text dot to into why um there should be something to convert this to an integer Um, let me look this up. Second, figured it out. Um, I didn't even have uh, enough time to prepare this. I don't know why. What's this error? I don't know. Uh, so try catch and try. So to uh, show the exception message is uh, just message box x dot message comma comma so that's what I found <laughs> don't know why it's, it's just like this um, so we are going to uh, say that the interval is not convert 
this is C ints. So C int me text box two dot text. So uh, it's going to convert whatever is in text box two to an integer, uh, and that value is going to be what uh, interval is. So here comes the math interval interval is interval times thousands then we just say time one is interval so that should be good um so i think we've done everything let's debug it and going to open notepad here press debug and let's say I'm going to put in two seconds I'm going to type bananas and I'm going to type it in red start out of typing wait for it And it's not working. Why? It's probably because of this. Don't know. Let's delete this line and type it again. Okay, now it doesn't show an error, which is pretty odd. Um, I'll be back. Okay, uh, for some reason it looks like it's working now. So, um, I don't know what was wrong. I don't know why this is an error now. Um, anyway, and. Um, I figured out that this and this had to be in the try statement too uh, because otherwise it's going to crash um, also we are going to add another um, if statement here else if combo box combo box one dot text is nothing then color is nothing so it's going to be yellow um so this should do it um i hope so so let's say you want to type bananas bananas you're going to type it in red. You're going to type it every five seconds. Uh, start out with typing. Come on. Don't tell me that it's not going to work now. This makes me bananas. <laughs> it's funny to say, but it's true. So let's do. See, and now it doesn't show an error. I don't know what happened. But anyway, keep calm at all times. We're going to get this video done with some trial and error. Bananas. Every two seconds. Start out the typing. And as you can see, it's typing bananas. If we oh forgot to put a stop button there <laughs> so what you can do is you can add a button to stop it of course stop what you have to do here is just type timer one dot stop so that should work uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, press the stop button 
with a key on your keyboard. So let's say you type F3 and um, it's going to stop. Or you type F8 and it's going to stop auto typing. Just to make it more user friendly. And I'm also going to um, show you how to combine all of this with animation so you can type a color and an animation on the same time so this should be all i'm going to save this for future use um so thanks for watching bye